just wanted to say, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I, I'm sorry if I slaughtered the dude's name. You'll get it once you see the intro. Alright, roll in the animation. When it's just you, well, times can be tough. Hello there, welcome to another artistic video. And before anything, just wanted to say, um, there's gonna be something new in these videos. Um, the main thing, you know how generally I just do an intro and then, um, show you, do the main drawing and a time lapse. Well, there's gonna be two time lapses. This is gonna be my video. The intro, then the next part will be a reference drawing, so I know what I'm gonna draw for the last part. And then the last part, you know, it's just the, the main uh, drawing that it's gonna be the finished product. So basically, this is what's gonna happen. First of all, for those who are not interested in the intro, but are interested in the reference drawing, and then also the time lapse, the time for the when the reference time lapse starts will be around here. And the time when the time lapse starts, if you're not interested in the first two, it will be popping about right here. All right, now I'm done being quiet and being so cliche. For those who are interested in what I'm using, first of all, these are my, this is my reference for the two, the shading pencils I'll be using, which are all in this lovely little container of some sort. Uh, everything in the bottom tray I'll be using. Most of these I might not use except for these things. They're like blenders for, when you're, for graphite. Also, fine point pen, a mechanical pencil. Because, you know, uh, I was about to make a joke about that, but I don't feel like it anymore. I'm probably be using this as well, this pencil eraser thing. Man, I really, I'm going to just come up with a name with this for, for it soon, one day. And a regular vinyl eraser. Alright, and in this video, I'll be drawing a Greek god, a god, oh wait, that's what this person wanted me to draw. I'm not, like, the most interested in it, but you know what, might as well give it a try, you know? Because everyone has a different interest, and, um... I just had to ask him, like, yo, what you want me to draw? Like, what do you think I should draw? And he told me. Um, I think it's Dionysus or D D Di something. I will put the word up on the video. I know. You go, dude, why aren't you prepared? Well, it's like, even if I was, I'd probably still say it wrong. Dionysus. Man. Okay. Either way. And since this is a Greek god that, like, you, at least I haven't heard of before, you have to, like, do a little bit of research. So that's why I'm going to do reference drawing, at least in this video. So I'll be doing the reference drawing on this paper. And also, and then the final drawing will be done in the notebook, which you'll see in the final time lapse. And all right, that will wrap up this intro. And I hope you enjoy the reference and the time lapse. And uh, see you in the reference drawing or in the time lapse. Not sure which one, but hey, I'll see you there. Wait, I found it. I figured it out. It's not Dionysus. It's Dionysus. Dionysus. Okay, that's a little bit more accurate. I'm sorry, now you can go back, okay. All right, now let's start off with the reference drawing. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna start off drawing only four heads. Instead of, so it just gives me a definite amount of things to do. So I don't have to do a whole bunch of things or I think I'm doing too little or too much. So I just did simply four. And what I'm doing with these four is that I'm gonna draw the heads and different designs, see which one looks like what I want for the Greek thing the jig. The Greek guy named Dionysos. Di Di okay, Di Dionysos. I'm gonna stop trying. I'm just gonna say one word and go with it from now on. Either way, or at least I, I think I do. Either way, it doesn't matter. See so you guys starting out with the first guy since the, in the Wikipedia it talked about how he was a dude about grapes and fertility, about grapes and a couple other things. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to see what he uh, would look like in my head. Like, ugh, my guess I'm terrible with explanation, I apologize. Wow. Alright, so I'm drawing for The first guy, I drew like a little headband with like, I don't know if that's like a cherry, which it shouldn't be. It should probably be more like a grape, so let's call it a grape with two leaves. A grape with two leaves on a headband. And also made his hair long, because, you know, majestical. I don't know. I feel like most of the gods have like long hair. So I was like, you know what, might as well just give him a long hair. And so the second guy, as you can see, I drew like another grape with three leaves on his head. I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't thinking much about it. I was just like, you know, I'll just draw this one. The third guy, as you can see, I'm drawing right now with amazing beards. I love beards, by the way. I want to grow one one day. Either way, that's not the point. 
this guy, he, um, I was thinking about someone who, who cultivates. And so when I started drawing him, but when I finished drawing, I was like, oh, this guy looks too much like a servant or someone who, who goes under the king. I'm like, dang it. So I, here's the fourth one. He's, hopefully he was my redemption. Hopefully my redemption. But not yet. And when I finished, well, I'm drawing him, as you can see, I drew the beard. I feel like I should have drawn the beard, like, less thin. And then I drew him with long hair, and I was like, eh, I could have done better. But I only could choose from these four. And so, this next video will tell you what I chose and why I chose him. All right? All right, there now in this treasures <laughs> transitional video and wow storm really come on now, whatever do to you huh? Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, either way. So as you can see, I have the reference drawings right here, and now the question is, which one are you are you gonna use? So I'm gonna lift this up to get a better view. Now looking at these four, this dude named Dion, you know, uh, Dion Dion Sauce. <laughs> I Wikipedia him, so there's two versions of him technically. Well, it's one version, but the way they saw him was different. One where he had no beard, and one with the beard, basically. One where he was more look more mature, and then you know, and then the other one. And then it also said he looked kind of womanly, and I don't know. So I was looking at, so I'm looking at these four, and also what I'm thinking through my head right now is like, which one looks more like a god of some sort, or is I don't know, or a person of a demi demigod, or just a person with a lot of power, I guess, or high position so so out of these four i was looking at these guys and i'm like all right so which one looks more royalty this guy um who looks more like a god i guess like who looks like he has the position which is royalty by my fault yeah i just repeated myself redundancy it's good sometimes barely either way this guy because he looks like he works at um he looks like he's like one of the servants this guy could work because the word womanly comes in mind. He looks a little bit womanly to me. I don't know about you guys. And this guy, I really wanted the beard to work out. Maybe it's the hair to me. Maybe if I put this guy's hair on him, it would look good. But to be honest, overall, I'm more satisfied with the first one than out of these three. And I think I'm going to go for this one for the time lapse. All right, then. I know you might be thinking this video is kind of pointless. Well, <laughs> I apologize. But all right, let's start the time lapse of the actual drawing there we go and i apologize for the thunderstorm all right sorry i know i know i just said we we're gonna go into the time last but yeah, i just wanted to say sorry about that, that yeah all right see you then hello there for those who skipped the time lapse and the reference drawing welcome to the main part of the video the meaty part the juicy part the whatever part i don't care anymore just it's the part that people like i think Hopefully. But you know what? Enough of this lack of confidence. I actually think I like this vid drawing really well. I did well on this drawing. So let's just talk about what I did here. Obviously, I'm drawing the frame. First, I also, I don't know if I said, well, since you skipped the reference drawing and also maybe the intro if you did, and for those who didn't, you already know this, that this guy I'm drawing, Dionsos, he seems to be kind of womanly and he's also a dude of grapes, like, yeah, he likes grape, like, he does, uh, why can't I explain things? Uh, he probably a grape keeper, um, a vineyard keeper, something like that. He also has a staff with an acorn on the top, which is interesting. I don't forgot what the name was. I, I think it started with a T, like, Tarsus or something, the Tars. I'll probably just leave a description in the, um, uh, in the, I'll probably leave a description in the description below about things like this. But either way, what I did here was draw the frame. And then kind of draw like how the clothes would look like on him. The thing is, in the, like a lot of Greek people like to draw naked people. I mean, to sculpt naked people. But since I do not exactly um, draw adult material, I just rather I like to draw for like for anyone to watch, from like five year olds or less or ten year olds, whatever, to the older age. Wh whoever wants to watch it can watch it. So I don't I don't want to draw him naked. So I put clothes on the guy. It's kind of simple regular hopefully look like greek clothing and so what i did as i draw the face is that if for the reference drawing i drew four heads and one and i chose one of the heads which was number one if for those who were watching the reference i know i probably said it like eight times but it was number one and so that so that was like at least the the basis of how i was going to draw his head i since i should have tried to draw the head in different angles for the reference drawing that's probably would have been a good idea maybe that's an idea for the next video so i could um 
because it will for this face i don't think it matched the one that i drew mainly because it's in a different angle and also i tried not to draw the guy super muscular because like i mentioned before he is seemed to be more womanly that's how he was described he was like a young more womanly guy so now all right after i drew all the bases things by the way if you notice i drew like a kind of a cube for the legs i think i saw that in a video where they were doing digital art and by the way i want to get some digital art on this channel it just takes so long and uh i get tired easily especially when i have a lot of things that i like to do either way so now I'm drawing the bow staff, I'm sorry, I'm outlining everything, I already drew everything, now I'm outlining it. As you see, I outlined the acorn and the, the staff, since it was made of wood, I was trying to add a texture by, you know, making those lines, the grooves, because wood it has like a pattern, but it's like an unruly pattern, you know, it's not like, like straight lines and then cross hatch, I mean not cross hatch, but like straight lines or something, like there's not a definite pattern here. And also as you see, I, I'm drawing the guy holding like a bunch of grapes, like in his hands. By the way, if you guys haven't had like grapes, grapes are amazing by the way. I'm, I don't know how you wouldn't have had grapes in your life. I, I just don't know. I just felt like saying it because you know, why not? Either way, there you go. So I erased all the annoying work and now we're going to get into the shading with my shading pencils. You know, I actually thought I might have switched it up and like try to use the charcoal pencils, but you know, I'll try to do that next time for more traditional drawings. Whenever I ask people for a drawing and they tell me something like traditional, like Greek mythology or um, Something that's more naturalistic, I'll try to use the charcoal pencils, and when someone says like comic characters or something like that, heroes, when I ask people, I'm going to try to use these shading pencils, but that's going to be for future videos because I forgot. And, well, not that I forgot, I didn't think about it when I was making this video. And as you can see, now I'm getting to this. Now, I did with the ink pen, I only wanted to outline um, kind of the body and things. I didn't really want to draw each, like... Like what is the what I should I say? Like the line for each muscle, like what's separating, because I wanted the shading to bring that out. Because I wanted to get better at shading. And what's one way to get better at shading is that don't put too much detail like in lines, but into the shading. Cause like I wanted the bicep to pop out, but from the shading, not from the ink pen just outlining the biceps. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say, but you know, when it comes down to shading, because like I wanna get to the point where I'm good at realistic type drawings. I would love to get to that point. But before then, I have to practice on simpler things like this. Drawing a muscle, I mean, obviously you can tell that's not like very realistic, but it does have that kind of feel, like it could get there. Maybe it's uh, the ink outlining that takes it away, and to be honest, it probably does. And also since these shading pencils don't really get that dark, the ink will always be the darker, the darkest part of this drawing. But either way, now I'm getting into the drawings, also, I mean, the more shading, and what I did first was shade all the skin with the softer pencils. Turns out when I was looking at this little um, sheet of paper where I drew um, each uh, shade like HB or 4H or 6B or whatever, turns out all the H's were softer and then all the B's were like, um, well not like a softer texture. And the other ones had like a more um, rough, Could I, I think I'm um, how to explain it. Even though I'm assuming H stands for hard and then B stands for bold. Either way, it all worked out good. And then also when I was shading the clothing, since the clothing was white, I couldn't make it that dark. So I had to use a very light pencil to try to make it look like indents and things like that. Because they couldn't go that dark because it was white. And also, I was actually also thinking about using charcoal pencils onto the head. Like, because it makes the hair look a lot very realistic. But I was like, you know what, I'll just keep it simple. I'm doing it the way I do. I'll just keep the pattern that I'm using. And so this guy named Deon Souls, I don't know exactly if this is... um. How you would, uh, how you guys would imagine him if you read his Wikipedia. But when I was reading it, I was like, you know, I imagine this dude just kind of with simple clothes. With this, I was in the Wikipedia said he had the bow staff thing. I'm like, you know, I'll put that on there, and with him holding grapes because he's that dude who likes grapes and thing of a jigs like that. Because who don't like his grapes? I don't know. He's the grape dude. I know. I probably said that way too much. I probably should just call this video the Greek, the Greek grape dude. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's just a very punny word, I mean punny title. Either way, I just want to say thank you for watching and enduring through all of my random thoughts and thingamajigs that just come out of my mouth. I don't understand it anymore these days. But either way, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe. Artistic Amateur, out.